Hi, so I've been working on this house for way too long, but have some updates, I guess. So I removed a plaster from a few walls where the plaster was very bad. The ceiling, well, <laughs> well, I guess next time. But anyway, the plaster. Well, so as you can see, there is this kind of self-supporting like structure on top of the openings in the wall and this is self-supporting until it isn't and so I was looking on, on, on this with a guy that does like statical analysis of the buildings and it was like eh, not great but mostly not terrible apart from this place now, you could see there is quite a big crack in the wall and this is probably because there is a wooden beam that is supporting a ceiling so I will probably like support add supports here as well because I will have to add supports to this wall anyway a bathroom yeah it's some stuff like uh, for example, I destroyed this wall because I was like, okay. So here was a toilet, and here I was planning shower to be like somewhere here, like no problem, right? But then I was like, okay, well, fine. Then I would have like a sink here because there will be like uh, stuff for the water, like boiler and stuff. And I was like. Eh. You know what? Let's draw this in some 3D program and shuffle this around. So, fun fact, I used to play Tetris competitively, so yeah, 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 I, I have some practice in this. So, I realized that, okay, this, uh, the sink was here and this will be probably best place for it to be. Then I can put washing machine here. And for that I would need to have shower somewhere else and the best place for it would be here like in this part basically somewhere around here like so and the toilet would be mounted on the wall here and the like mechanism for the thing would be on behind this wall well, well not behind this wall it would be inside this wall but this wall is too thick, I would have to basically cut it like somewhere here, which is not great. Like it wouldn't be structurally stable. So I will have to demolish it completely and make new one, which is fine. I started to constructing shit manifold and originally, well originally, you see there was this cast iron pipe the l shape pipe that uh, went inside here where I expected it to continue in cast iron but nope, it's like some ceramic stuff I can uh, cut this cast iron where it is relatively straight and connect to it with this plastic tube and so I was like, okay, let me dig it up a little bit so I can cut it but this guy that put in the cast iron tube he has sealed it with tile glue like the stuff that you glue tiles to the wall he used that to seal this thing and he did not just like like uh, pat it around or put it inside the joint nope he dumped the whole bag or two inside like hole like this and let it cure <laughs> holy shit man I it took me like two days to remove the thing and of course I did not see and I expected cast iron so I damaged the pipe but doesn't matter I will put a foam here anyway so but yeah that was that was something um, there's a foundation here so I cannot go next to the wall and basically I have to end up here I mean I don't really have to but I mean there was hole already so I used it I don't really want to dig inside these walls because, well, structural stability, I guess. Now, 
this is also not quite great but it is in my opinion completely fine so if there would be washing machine this is 50 millimeter diameter tube that like washing machine would put bunch of water in okay fine if I imagine that I sink water from both sinks like in the kitchen and here this is vertical and it goes basically into bigger diameter of tube immediately so this is fine pro I, f I would say then there is 90 degree band which is also fine in my opinion because I don't I have I don't see how this band would affect water level up here and then it goes finally out so the one problem that I see is with this 90 degree like angle 100 millimeter hole where actual shit would go in because this would splash this way and this way so that would be that wouldn't be nice so I am I'm going to replace this with with 45 degree angle and then another 45 to go vertically so the water should have momentum and go this way so I've done some stuff in the bathroom I decided to demolish the wall completely so that is gone I've added some pipes for the wastewater of course I mean yeah I've added some water pipe I, I have been convinced to go with the polypropylene tubes I'm not happy with polypropylene this shit it's just bad to work with. It's it's bad. I mean, okay, it is easy enough if you get welder and stuff and just like heat it up, press together and off you go. But the the quality of these wells, I mean, not sure if it's the welder or the or the like as a person or the machine or the settings, but if you don't do it quite perfect, you get some stuff inside when the molten material just like squeezes out and it obstructs the water flow and like I mean I don't care much in this case because it is just a water pipe for a house but like if you are doing some engineering I mean you either cannot calculate with the diameter of the tube that you are using or you have to be very very experienced when doing this anyway so this thing it came to be like this I mean it should be good this way but <laughs> what the fuck so I need to remove this pipe I'm not sure where it is going probably nowhere probably it is just uh, anchored in the concrete here I know I should have done this earlier but I guess we will never know what this is for and where it goes what I can do, however, is tell how exactly deep this is. And it's not very deep. Well, this much. That is quite deep, actually. And does it go then anywhere else? Uh, this doesn't look like it goes anywhere. So, as I thought, this is probably anchored here. Yeah, I get like five bags, that will be enough, right? Right? fuck's sake I mean <laughs> I, I've got five I knew that this will be not not enough and this was like 125 kilos then I got like 150 kilos so this, this is this I don't know how because this is much deeper than this but it worked out but this little hole I don't have enough bags and it is time to go work. Alright, so the floor is set in stone. Not really doing any more, any more work today. I mean, I left out this portion because, and also this big hole because I was like, you know what, I may need to adjust this a little tiny bit or even change some stuff here. So I was like, uh, nope, I'm not uh, pouring concrete in this hole yet. But anyway, so. Yeah, I pour, I poured this slab. It's a uh, not great job. I mean, I did uh, all this thing up to here, like in one day, and then next day I had to return for this because I did not have enough bags and it was uh, a lot of time and I had to do other work. 
Well, anyway, it's fine. This, uh, actually, this uh, transition is much better than a like, job where the old, co old concrete was, because I did not like remove it. I mean, there are some cracks in it, but it's fine. This portion of the floor is sloped like downwards, and this uh, this little section is also sloped downwards. So there should be a little pool of water here, uh, basically. And because m my idea was that I like to wash the sink when I shower, for whatever reason I do that. So I put it in front. Okay, so I am pretty much ready to put in this glass fiber to reinforce the walls and then start like putting tiles on and stuff like that so this is pretty much ready one thing I need to finish is the water system and so I'm doing that it is in copper and I pretty much fucked up a little bit here I mean kinda sorta because I have this thing as a return line for hot water and uh, well the idea is that this would be ideally connected and hidden under the wall, but I was like, I have no idea how am I going to do this because I did cut a slot and it is fairly thin. I don't have much space here and I can't be bothered like uh, digging into the bricks like to make a space for some normal connection and. I would be happier with a system like this because, I mean, if it for whatever reason leaks, because normally you wouldn't use polyurethane tubing, this is like for pneumatics, so, but it is good in harsh conditions, I mean, it may not be extremely good for like when it is hot, that's, I have seen houses like this to expand and even rupture. Well, if it does happen, I can disconnect it when it is exposed like this. We'll see. This is manifold basically, so it goes to the boiler and this is another manifold and then it goes up to the roof. And uh, the way I fix these uh, fittings is quite interesting. I did not know whatsoever how it is done. So what I have done is I drilled through the wall then like uh, hole at an angle and pressed some uh, epoxy, well not epoxy, this is this is uh, polyester glue something. It is used for fixing like heavy stuff to the wall so I did use it here as well. So I had left over some so I did fix these fittings like so should be fine I guess I mean I did rough the brass a little bit so should hold there I left uh, some space here uh, I mean I did not but there is possibility that I will need a filtration system so I will have to like remove this pipe and then do something different like go to the filter and from filter to here maybe also everything is pretty much removable so I have removable fittings here 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 and here I can disassemble everything from here basically and so well idea is that if I had any if I at any point have problems with the copper itself I can replace this with stainless steel but for that I need welder and I don't have one so all right, it's a few months later and I've been busy with moving stuff and stuff like that, so... Yeah, so I finished this room, pretty much, so this is where I this is where I live. I mean, I've got a bunch of stuff here. This, this is my kitchen now. I have a bunch of stuff here, basically. I mean, it's not that different to my previous living conditions because... Well... Anyway... Uh, so, yeah... Uh, I got finally water here, and uh, you can see how this should probably be done normally. And I was like, okay, so if uh, I have like hot water recirculation here, then I don't really need it here because uh, 
this is just a short piece of tube and straight so it would be fairly quick to get hot water when I open the tap anyway so uh, I've got bathroom finished pretty much so yeah some tiles it was pretty easy to do I mean and obviously I have to do a bunch of stuff here still because if you look at this for example it looks like so so as you can see it uh, my measurements were not quite as correct as our well as correct as uh, good as I expected also now I have noticed that uh, this battery here is like crooked which uh, it wasn't I think and this is leaking which is not great but yeah anyway and also well I did straighten up these walls as much as I could but as you can see here th there is a big gap like very big gap I mean it's not that horrible when you look at it from here like you cannot even see it and also here the gap is almost non-existent so that's not great but yeah so this is a little bit a meh job but whatever also the floor I needed it to get a little bit higher so I was like let's pour in a little bit of self leveling concrete well guess what the concrete wasn't as self leveling enough as I expected so I mean there's like this thing which is if I did this in reverse so this would be big tile and this there will be a little bit short piece it would look much better yeah this is this is pretty bad but yeah it is what it is I mean it's first time I laid tiles so now I know better <clears throat> I mean they they sell they sell some jigs for this so you can like uh, you can basically clamp these tiles together and they will be self-leveling. Yeah, so there's that. The ceiling, I have decided that I won't be repairing the plaster on the ceiling and I just... I will use like the drop ceiling or what is it called? Something like that basically. These wooden beams were completely disintegrated, so I will have to remove this. I will have to remove this frame, I mean. There's plaster, so you cannot see how it looks there, but anyway, it is bad, basically. But that's fine. I mean, this is super usable. I mean, I mean, well, well, this is basically... This is pretty much basic beach uh, bathroom, well, so yeah, I will have to replace this curtain with like doors and proper stuff like that, mount window here, and that that is thing that I can do anytime later. I've done also a few changes here, so you can see I have a VFD for a water pump, because I was thinking well, I would like to have constant pressure here, so how would, I, how would I do that? Well, I would buy VFD for a motor and then with some Arduino and pressure sensor and blah blah blah. I was like, well, they should probably, or I would expect they would sell like VFD for pumps and guess what, they do. So, yeah, that's VFD and now I'm looking at it. This is leaking for whatever reason. The, the leaks. Well, I have this... Uh, stuff here so basically this is uh, directing water to go somewhere and these thing these things leaked quite a lot now they don't leak as much and I ramped up the pressure slowly so this is sealing itself but you can see this is uh, this is quite a big leak I need to fix this ASAP pretty much yeah, so I have some like electrical box. This is upside down mounted because I, I was retarded and drilled two holes here and one hole here. But yeah, there is the freaking grounding wire that I need to connect here and I cannot like have I cannot find time for this. The 
this mechanism is fixed like this. Basically, there is uh, some profile that I found. This is some piece of steel. Uh, you can see that this is on some bricks, and also uh, because there is like very little space where this can go. I could not use larger bricks. I mean, I could use 75 millimeters, but I just uh, put some bricks here to basically so I can have some space where I can put uh, screws pretty much because you don't want to drill into this wall because it is very, very, very thin. Also, I have added some bricks here, so this looks like, well, this looks like so, basically. Well, anyway, so that's that, pretty much. And, uh, yeah, the hot water circulation, it is here, it is sealed like so, and it is not connected to the pump yet, because I need to A mount the pump and do some automation for that as well. And I'll explain more in detail later. Yeah, this is expansion tank for maintaining like water pressure. Because okay, you have VFD, but it is reacting uh, not immediately so. I would like it to be a little bit faster, but uh, maybe at some point I will try to do that. Yeah, the uh, the sewage is connected like this. It was pretty straightforward thing to do, basically. So I did not change anything here, pretty much. I mean, I've added some uh, some few things here. This is like pressure switch, which is not connected right now because does not need to be and it is just fail safe. So there is this hose, this is going to dishwasher. This is this is temporarily placed here because it was in the kitchen but uh, I started scraping the walls and installing the water system so um, so I've moved it obviously. The washing machine is connected now. I may be a little bit stupid because like I added these pipes for the waste and I was like now wait a second how is the washing machine even connected but then I learned that people put siphons in the wall and I was like what the fuck why would you even do that but I found a module like this module well it's a siphon that is externally mounted so I had to do a bit of reduction stuff here also here like uh, there was a shelf here and I was like, okay, if the shelf is here, then how the fuck does this siphon fit here? And again, probably was in the fucking wall. It's stupid, but... And I'm not sure... This fitting was leaking, so I put this here as well. But uh, and I collected quite a bit of water, but... It is not leaking as much right now. There was drop of water every six seconds, right now it's like drop of water every minute, so it is sealing itself very, very slowly, but seriously, like, this is not leaking at all, this is, so what the fuck is different here? So yeah, this is pretty much usable, the water system is usable as much as I will need, really, and this is pretty normal stuff, I would say, like, there are pipes, uh, there are quick disconnects, and the hot water return. Now, hot water is this pipe, and this is cold water. Now, this is connected, or this is coupled, or whatever, with the cold water pipe. And that is so, because when it is like minus 20 degrees Celsius outside, as you can see, there is no insulation. Uh, I'm planning to add some polystyrene plates and sandwich the tubes between these. So when the hot water will return, it will be returning under cold water pipe. So this should not freeze. That's the theory. 
here it goes from the from the technical room down there I guess and uh, this installation is temporary and it is basically I was calculating how I was calculating how much heat am I losing basically with uh, this much insulation which I want there to be at least twice as much probably three times as much yeah and also here this is uh, I ended up hot water here but the cold water can continue and is indeed continuing with this hose all the way back through whole house and the barn to the garden okay so now I need to finish the kitchen because that is very much needed obviously and this will be relatively quick I mean relatively I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything with the floor probably should well we'll see then I'm obviously doing a bunch of stuff in the yard because there is I mean I did most things I mean the the fence fell down, so I have to repair that. Oh. Anyway, that's uh, basically immediate plans, but then I will have to start thinking about the heating, because... Yeah, that will be quite interesting, actually. How am I going to heat this house? These two rooms are about... Well, that's 5 kilowatt. This is about 3 kilowatt. This is about 2 kilowatts. So, I need about 10 kilowatt of heat in this house. And I need to distribute it basically from this room and split it to here and maybe the bathroom. So, I will have to think about that. How am I going to do this and stuff like that, yeah. Okay. That's about it, I guess, for now. See you next time.